Good morning. It's 740. We are live on Facebook Live right now, so you can see a very adorable puppy. If Heather was looking at the Facebook Live and I'm she could right now. position the camera in a way that you could see the dog. And we have <laughs> Kitty Timber in for the SPCA of Southwest Michigan. I kind of want my dog back. She also took the dog. Oh, hold on. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so many technical problems here. Here we go. Well, I gotta wear the puppy. Oh my god. Because it makes me feel needed. My child's old. Okay, that uh you're not even ready for how cute this it, stinking it's puppy is. Cute. But she got her nose caught in the oh, god. Yeah, okay, so so if you're not watching the Facebook live video, um the adorable little puppy is in like a, a doggy backpack. You see it? It's a baby Bjorn for dogs. Whatever. We're fashionable. If you want to be cute, wear your puppy. If you want to be cute, wear your puppy. It deters from your face. <laughs> when uh, when will this baby be available for adoption? So, Baby Bot is being looked at by a veterinarian today. Okay. But coming up, probably next week, she'll be available. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about our foster program. Yeah. So, we have a major shortage of foster homes. And it's not Dana Marshall because he'll adopt. Uh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... I'm doing the best that I can, people. I need some help. <laughs> he does. You could be on the hoarding list. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so we believe in a no-kill Kalamazoo, and the way to get that done is by having as many foster homes as possible. Open your homes, open your hearts, and if you open your home, we can take more dogs from animal control. We can take more cats from animal control, and this way, those animals are going directly into safety. So sign up, go to www.spcaswmich.org, email info, like us on Facebook, and help us out. Be now, how many, how many pets can you take in at a time? What do you mean? Like if you're fostering, is it one or two or? So it's kind of based on your home and what's appropriate. So if you own a dog and it's really dog friendly, you could take a litter of puppies. That's what we need is we have a lot of pregnant local mom dogs. So this is kind of a big issue. And honestly, in 12 years, I haven't experienced this before. I think last month we had 12 pregnant dogs, something like that. It's crazy. So we need people that will birth these moms, let the puppies grow up for a few weeks and keep them out of the shelter. Because although the shelter is great, it's not ideal. Right. And there's a lot of benefits to doing that, too. You get, I'm sorry to be this guy, but you're getting the dogs when they are at their cutest, when they're tiny little puppies, and you're not making a lifetime commitment because maybe you're thinking, I would love to get a dog, but who's going to take care of my dogs when I go on vacation in right. three months? Right. And, well, this is a way for you to get your dog love on. Uh, <gasps> to, for free. Yeah, for free, fostering, then, giving the, then yep. giving the puppies back. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Well, and also special needs dogs. So this is Baby Bot, and this is an example of who needed to be in foster. She had bot fly larva in her neck, and it needed to be surgically removed. And no, Heather, not butt fly. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I thought Heather it was butt fly. That. There's a butt fly in her neck? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> I'm really, I just had a visual and I'm very concerned. <laughs> so she needed to have that removed and then she needed time for her neck muscles to strengthen. So all she needed was a home and that's what she got. So Baby Bot, Lady Bot is her name. I like Lady she, well, Bot. Well, she went from Baby Bot to Lady Bot. She's a prestigious Ladybot. lady. All right. Uh, Susanna, my fiance, just uh, commented on the Facebook Live. Let's do it. We will take in a pregger mama and her baby. No, we will not. Yes, you will. Yeah. How the, many the animals litter. do we have? We're going to give you a pit bull mom, and then it's going to have 15 puppies, and Dana's going to have... You're going to oh. walk to work, and everyone's going to be following you. That would actually be cute. It'd be, he'd be like the Pied Piper of people. He would be like the Pied Piper. I oh, am already pitbulls. like borderlining like Ace Ventura pet detective <laughs> at my house. <laughs> That's I have to good, wiggle. I have to movie. wiggle the doorknob so they all know to hide if someone's behind me. <laughs> it's not good. So many animals. But look at that face, Dino. So please sign up to make a difference. And yeah, again, absolutely. Email us info at spcaswmich dot org. Can um, we talk about the cool tank top you have on right now? Okay. So this is kind of a big deal. So we went through a rebrand, and again, um, we're pro no kill Kalamazoo. And this is our new tank top. Help us, help them. You can go to our Facebook page. 
um, and get some humane gear. Order up. So yeah, you got hats too, baseball caps. We have hats. We have T-shirts. We have cute stuff. Razorback tank tops, ladies. If you want to look hot and be humane at the same time, order up. Nice. But you can only order until Sunday. Oh, because we're on a budget. What? We're on a budget. Yeah. So we went through this website that created really cute clothes and it's high quality gear. But the ordering periods are only two weeks out. So sign up. Help us, help them. And it's cute because it has the logo like, right on the back. You can get nice. t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. It's all very tasteful stuff. I tell you what, um, I'm going to volunteer Heather. Heather. Yeah. Uh, put that at WKFR.com at some point today. I know I you're will. very busy, but because that's really good info to have, especially with that deadline coming up, we'll make sure that just check By back. Sunday. Just check back on WKFR.com for all the info on how to order that gear a little bit later today. And I have stuff for you guys, actually, but <gasps> I forgot it. Uh, drop it off. Yeah, I like stuff. <laughs> All right, so I like I like lady. So if you want to Me foster, too. if you want to volunteer, or even adopt, because we have a bunch of adorable babies waiting for a new family, how can they do that? So, first of all, I encourage you to come visit us, 6955 West KL Avenue. We're open Tuesday through Friday from 1 to 7 and Saturday from 11 to 4. Like us on Facebook, go to our website, spcaswmich.org, and email us if you want to open your home, info at SPCA, and come on out, volunteer. Um, we believe in a no-kill Kalamazoo and not without you. Well, thank you very much, Katie. Love you. Love bye. You, bye.